Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I admit, I was worried what being conscripted into the Inquisition would mean, but it's not as bad as I feared. We survived the attack on Haven, and this fortress is secure. It's more than most of us have known for a long time. I'm glad you've settled in. It's better than being hunted by Templars for months on end. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. I trust everything is well with the mages. A few malcontents claim you've put us in a new circle, but most are relieved to be safe. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi. The first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a Warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters... ...they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the Circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a Warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's Conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers. Most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice. But we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I'll leave you to it. Before you go, Inquisitor, a question. In Redcliffe, after we left, did you perhaps speak with King Alistair? Considering who you are? He wasn't in the mood to talk. It's just that I knew his father, Marek, back when I was a warden. Oh, that's rather interesting. Does he know that? No, he doesn't. And he shouldn't. I only wanted to know if he was happy. His father had such hopes for him. Don't mind me, Inquisitor. The concerns of an old woman. Nothing more. I heard of your verdict on Alexios, Inquisitor. Servitude is... ...kinder a punishment than I would have given, but I won't complain. He may wish you'd done worse. My fellows have some interesting ideas on exactly what he can do as compensation. I'll leave you to it. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as a si You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope... Yes. What is... I wasn't told. I am to... Woman. I remember being fond of animals. Yes. 
I remember that being a difficult time. What is your... Adequate. Based on a... As... Yes. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. I wasn't going to bring it up, but... Why didn't you see that attack coming? I didn't know what I was looking for. The Red Templars are like nothing I've seen. And the Venatori hide their tracks well. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. I hear the mages will now answer to the Inquisition. And when you no longer need them, will they be locked up and forgotten again? Most would treat their dogs with more kindness. You don't support my decision. The circles don't work. We've seen it. I wanted the Inquisition to find a better way. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh. You are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend, and there were so many things going wrong. Things going wrong? I'm shocked. I was there when the hero of Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. When the Divine requested my help, I... I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, I was angry. I felt betrayed, but I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause, others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven should... So far, nothing. And the breach has been quiet for some time. There is some... I'll leave you...